You're probably thinking about traveling to Tenerife. In this video, I will tell you everything you should know about this destination in a nutshell. The weather is gorgeous, not too warm and not too cold, it's just perfect. People used to call it the island of eternal spring, so now we will dive into it. For start, I made you a list about the material strength of the island. We don't have whites and blue ocean stuff here, but I'm pretty sure that you will discover here it will remain locked in your heart forever. So if you look the material part of the island, here are the programs and activities which are really world class here. You can swim in amazing natural pools in the ocean. You will find 321 volcanoes, the highest is 3750 meters, around 12,000 feet, and you can get to the top of it. You will experience one of the most beautiful sunsets of your life. You can get access to a lava tunnel with a headlamp. If you like the flora, like dragon trees, very special pine trees, laurel forest, tahinaste, a giant ficus macrophylla, it will be the wonderland for you. If you like stars, this is one of the greatest places on earth for star glazing. From 2000 meters around 6500 feet, you can watch the sky like a movie. If you like nightlife, and I'm not talking about the Ibizon style, I mean the vibes on the streets. If you like food and drinks, especially local beer and the vines, or special cafe, the Barraquito, the world famous cheese, hams, shrimps, langostins, camarones, chopitos, canarian potato with mojo, carne con papas, polvito uruguayo. But I will make you a full video about this. If you like cultural things, there are hundreds of small town fiestas in local environment. And here you can celebrate the second largest carnival in the world. If you like hiking and canyoning, we have unbelievable places with waterfalls and other stuffs out there. And a few really crazy abundant places also. If you want to see hundreds and thousands of cave dwellings, we have eight beautiful golf courses can be played all year round. Here you will find the one of the best area in the Atlantic for open ocean and deep sea fishing. You can see dolphins, killer whales in their natural habitat. Here you will find two of the best zoos in the world and the best adult tamed water park in the world. And finally there is a submarine, you can jump in it. The destination is not full with looks, but here it is doesn't matter which social class you belong to. Here you will definitely get a deep and real thing and you will really feel alive. Here you experience huge love, peace, the power of community, sense of security, the full atmosphere gives you something that cannot be described by words. This is why 6 million people visit the island every year. But where you can find Tenerife? It is on planet Earth. It is in the Atlantic Ocean, between America and Africa and the part of archipelago of Macaronesia. But let's see first Macaronesia. It has four different areas. At the top there are the Azores, belongs to Portugal. Madeira below, belongs to Portugal too. Followed by the Canary Islands, belongs to Spain. And in the south, Cape Verde, an independent country. But before 1975 it belonged to Portugal too. All islands of Macaronesia are volcanic in origin. And now jump to the Canary Islands. It is next to Morocco and the Western Sahara. The nearest point is Fuerteventura. It's 100 kilometers, around 60 miles from Africa. It is an interesting fact that the name of the Canary Islands comes from the Canary Mastiff. So the Canary Islands means the island of ducks. The Canary Islands is a Spanish autonomous community, member of the European Union and the Schengen area. Totally 2.2 million people lives here. Makes this area the largest and most populous archipelago of Macaronesia and Spain. It has eight islands in two provinces. The provinces are Santa Cruz de Tenerife with the capital Santa Cruz de Tenerife and Las Palmas de Gran Canaria with the capital Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. On the right hand side, Las Palmas de Gran Canaria has four islands. Gran Canaria, Fuerteventura, Lanzarote and La Graciosa. On the left hand side, Santa Cruz de Tenerife has also four islands. Tenerife, La Gomera, El Hierro and La Palma. Now let's jump to Tenerife. 
If you look closely, you can see the shape of a duck. Here is the head, the tail, and the body. So the duck was created 20 million years ago by a volcanic eruption. The island as it is today was formed 3 million years ago by the fusion of three big mountains, Anaga, Teno, and Valle de San Lorenzo. But we will talk more about the history in my next video. As the final result, you can find now 321 stratovolcanoes here. In the middle, Volcano Teide, is the biggest one with its 3,750 meters, around 12,000 feet height. The island is full of seismic meters, so a potential eruption can be accurately predicted. In other words, no one will be in danger, so you don't have to worry if you travel here. Nowadays, the duck is home to 43% of the total population of the Canary Islands. Nearly 1 million people live here, and it is the largest and most populous island of Spain and Macaronesia, and it is one of the most important tourist destinations in the world. From 1494, it belongs to Spain. So the spoken language on the island is Spanish. Although many people in the south speak English, but you can also meet German. The currency is the euro. If you want to travel to the dock from the European Union or the Schengen area, an ID card is enough, but I always suggest you have a valid passport too. If you are traveling from a non-EU or non-Schengen country, you will need a passport with two criteria. All passports have to be valid for a minimum three months after the day you leave the dock, and the passport cannot be older than 10 years. The maximum you can stay here legally is 90 days. When you arrive, maybe you will be asked to provide proof of the following. A return ticket, the address of your accommodation in the dock, the sufficient funds to support yourself during your stay. Currently, this equals 100 euros per person. In some cases, you must have a visa to access the European Union, but I put a link to the description below and you can see the information. The dock has two airports, the local airport in the north and the international airport in the south. The big plane disaster in 1977 happened in the north. This was one of the reasons why the southern airport was built one year later in 1978. Today both airports operate with complete safety and comfort. It is important to mention that if you come here you don't need any special vaccination. The dock is totally safe. Let's say a few words about the climate. The island is characterized by a generally dry and warm climate, but it has two main different climatic areas, the hot semi-arid arid in the south and the subtropical Mediterranean climate in the north. But I have to mention that Tenerife has a lot of climate. These two are just the main ones. There is also a short answer for that. The weather is perfect between 20 and 28 Celsius around 68 and 82 Fahrenheit in all year. Sometimes a few day Kalima arrives from Africa, which raises the temperature, but we will talk about it in more detail in the upcoming weather video. The temperature of the ocean is balanced throughout the year. I took this picture, for example, on Christmas Eve when we were building a Sandman. In the beginning, the people were engaged in sugarcane cultivation, then wine production, fishing, dactylopius breeding, it is the color bug. And now they live from banana cultivation and tourism. The locals are very nice, humble, helpful and hospitable people. It's a pleasure to step out into the street every day. They are Christians, mainly Roman Catholics. It's a big part of their culture. They have a lot of fiestas and religious holidays during the year. The roads are in very good condition, so if you rent a car, you can travel around the island comfortably. The healthcare is very professional here and equipped with modern instruments. There are both public and private hospitals around the island. There are no animals dangerous to humans. No snakes, no scorpions or any dangerous spiders. And no animals can jump in front of your car to make you big trouble. But please look after cats, dogs and other small animals while you're driving. Now let's look at the different part of the island. The dock has three big parts. The north the south and the metropolitan area. So which is the best place on the island? My honest answer for that, there is no best place because every corner has an amazing program or attraction. 
The good question is which will suit you the best. But please don't forget this is a nutshell video. We won't go deep in this one. This part from Los Cristianos to Costa Adeje is the big tourist area. It has a very nice nightlife, restaurants, bars, hotels, sandy beaches and a lot of tourist programs and shopping malls out there. There is another interesting place, Los Gigantes, with a beautiful views to a 800 meters high cliff on the coast. Right next to it, there is the Teno Rural Park, with a beautiful tiny village, Masca. And there are the north, Garachico, Ico de los Vinos, Puerto de la Cruz, La Orotava, La Laguna, Santa Cruz de Tenerife, if you prefer more green and more countryside. And we have another rural park, Biosphere Reserve. I think this is the real Tenerife, with massive villages. Here, the southeast part is more barren and windy, but also has some really cool things there. And in the middle, there is the Taida National Park with the giant volcanoes. It's a wonderland, the core of the duck. It is the mind-blowing place, both daytime and nighttime. I hope you found useful this moment. In the next videos, we go deeper and deeper, so please don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. See you in the next one.